how you do some Qatar airport now just flown in from Heathrow it's Tuesday the 24th of October um, just landed in here I'm waiting for connection got a few hours wait for my next connection flight um, and I'm about to do my next hike my next adventure hike my final destination is going to be revealed very soon Sixteen hours later, I'm here, I'm in Kathmandu, yes, I'm here again. Second visit in, uh, well, a year ago today, really, pretty much a year ago today that I was here last. I'm here to do Mirror Peak, let's see how it goes. One year ago, it's pretty much to the day. And we're back here from Mirror Peak, on the drive there. Oh, yeah, good morning, it's... 4.30 in the morning, day two, uh, so day one was just arriving in Kathmandu. I've got my stuff already packed up, ready to go. I'll be meeting my porter and guide in Lookless. I'll be catching a taxi to Kathmandu Airport shortly and then getting a flight over to uh, Lookless and we'll be starting our trek to our next destination. Starting our trek, it's our first day. Sorry, first trek day, second day actually. It's my mate. Namaste. Namaste. Oh, we just landed over there somewhere. So we were up there. Up there somewhere. Now we're gonna head back down. Keep going down. And then we've got to come back up all over. Not this part, but you have to come back to the same level again later on this afternoon. Great. So we, we are going down there and we have to go up there again. <laughs> <laughs> You go up, and you go down, and you go up, and you go down. My guide and my porter have left me on my own in the wilderness. What the hell? The Donkey Express. Oh. We're stopping off for a bit of lunch um, and just to give you a bit of context we were over there and we went down and then bloody all the way back up here again and there's still a bit more to go say hello DJ hello, hello. so tomorrow we'll be going up along that path around and then up and down quite a few times apparently and then all the way around again morning it's day three of our 16 day journey um a bit of a rough night's sleep but overall still excited the weather looks nice outside um apparently i found out that there's uh, four routes to mirror peak from lukla so um i have no idea what the differences are but if anybody's ever interested do a bit of research you'll find there's some different ways to get there i hope that helps a poo with a view A regular ritual of having to sterilise the water. Unnecessary pain. This is our day two tea house where we stayed last night. And right next to it is a hospital. And this morning we'll be going up that path there. Going round and apparently up and down, up and down to Kolya. Mirror Peak is somewhere 
on that side. Way, way over there. Yeah. This is how you do it. Boss man's got slippers. Super. I need that. Bad oh. Having a bit of a tea break. But look at this solar panels. It's amazing. Um, one thing that DJ said. Apparently, on the way back down off the Mirror Peak, we're going to be coming all the way up there along that ridge, all the way down. That's going to be fun. Good morning. It's um, day four now. Yeah, day four. Day four is sixteen. Cold. Another cold night. Yeah, look at the views here. Beautiful. So now we're on day four, starting up with a nice, lovely uphill climb, then back down, and then the usual Nepali flats. Hello, DJ. Hello, hello. This is the mountains way over there. It's called Dudkunda. And it's 6,500 or so. Wow, we're going to be almost at that. It's going to be crazy. <laughs> You got mirror north, mirror middle. The, the first one is mirror south, south, yeah, and the center one, Cent yeah, yeah, and yeah, that yeah. north one. Ah, yes, we are going to center. Ah, wow! Yeah. So that was our first. So that was our first glimpse of Mirror Peak. DJ has just gone to see one of his members of his families. This is his village, so we're going to be going to his family's or his parents' house for a cup of tea later. Um, yes, it's all exciting stuff. So far, so good. Struggling, but I don't know. Apprehensive. See how it goes. I hope that I can make it. But let's see. Day four of sixteen, so a long way to go. We're in DJ's house, and there's DJ as a monk. My mother. His family. Oh yeah. My sister-in-law. Sister 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 yeah. Sister-in-law. Sister also. Sister-in-law yeah. and bro big, brother. big brother, and my uh, another monk. Mother. Your brother, yeah, yeah. yeah, and my father. Wow. Ah, a beautiful <laughs> house. And DJ's kindly given us some cucumber that they've grown here on their land. They're massive. So this is. DJ, DJ's dad. What's your name, sorry? Pema. 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 Yes, the Pema and Kangdu. Kangdu. Yeah. Thank you very much. She made tea and some cucumber and potatoes. The best. Very nice. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> so another view of DJ's village, where he grew up to about seven. Got the school, healthcare, his house. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Back up here. And then. So we're going to head along this path or up to this lodge and then carry on and then our, if you can see it, our lodge for tonight is going to be up there. Great. Shredded veggie spring rolls with eggs. Really, really nice. I've just seen something over here. Let's have a look. Alright. <laughs> so we started at a look clap and I think we went down on this path all the way here to Peng Hom, stayed there. We're now at Sibuche, I think. Oh no, so we're probably about here somewhere. And we'll follow this path all the way here. Zigzag along the river. And then High camp and high camp. I think I'm assuming we're going to get this path here to Mirror Central. Great, that's a few minutes in the clouds in a forest. A little bit different to Annapurna, but it's an experience, I guess. Oh. A 
mirror view lodge but not much view of mirror mirror's gone morning it's day five of 16 now <laughs> so we're making our way down from where we stayed last night then it's gonna be a bit of a steep drop but always in the shadow of mirror mirror peak which is nice um i just wanted to add to this video i had a yak cheese pizza last night and um yep i had the trots this morning so i can only assume because the yak cheese because i'm lactose intolerant but we'll have to wait and see if it carries on and i'll be in trouble let's see the whole trail is pretty much a little path like this and a massive rock Very different town upon there. This is what I mean, just drops after drops on a little path. Definitely is a bit worrying. So we're just stopping off for some lunch. We have to use a chain to come up. There's an earlier bit that went down as well. Fixing a loose stone to make it safe for others. So I lodge for tonight. Just got to do this a little bit now. Great. So our tea house for today. Everyone's drying their clothes. But check the weather outside. Not the Nepal I was used to. Morning, it's day six. Oh dear. Last night was a bit cloudy, you couldn't see anything, but yeah, we were way up there, came down here. Tomorrow, today we're going to be heading around the side of the valley. Wow. My legs are feeling surprisingly okay. Overly sore, a little bit stiff maybe, but yeah, feeling okay so far. So DJ's putting a prayer flag up. So DJ's somewhere back there putting up his prayer flags. And then Surya's long gone. I mean, there's only one path. I'm sure I'm not going the wrong way, but you never know. And this is where it's different to Annapurna, I mean, it's just literally, everywhere you go, it's just constant, thin, narrow steps and a big, long drop down the side. It's just a bit windy. The worst thing is, you're going, you're doing these up and down, up and down, of doing five, six hundred elevation and decl uh, declining every day. But you're just constantly staying about the 3,000 metre mark. I mean, now today we're going above that, but the last few days was just, slugging it out just to go up and down up and down and to stay at that 3000 mark they say it's meant to help with acclimatization climatization i don't know we'll see if i make it to the top of mirror peak then yeah definitely it's helped Safety first. <coughs> See, it's caught there where we're staying tonight. The daily chore of unpacking and packing. To be honest, unpacking isn't as bad. But the packing of the sleep bags is actually really a nightmare. Just stuff in this compression bag.
So you roll that into a small little bag. So someone just got it lifted out of here. A bit daunting. Morning, it's day seven of 16. And it's technically, technically I think day four, 14. Day, it's 14 days, not 16, because it's uh, a day on each side in, in Kathmandu. But yeah, day seven. Four more nights to go, I think, until we've got a big um, push or a big, big day to, to Mirror Peak. So, um, yeah, feeling the yeah, lack of sleep. Um, yeah, today's right now is Monday, and we go up to the summit on Friday. So, the weather's definitely getting colder. Views are still beautiful. Views are amazing. The daily chore of packing a sleeping bag. So we stayed last night. Follow the path to, to the next destination. So today I'm a hike lead. And my G's are following me for once. Oh geez, where are you? Here you come. DJ is telling me, because his dad is a carpenter, he builds a lot of the tea houses that we've, we've, gone, we've been going past, so the majority of them, apparently DJ said, were built by his dad. Amazing thing. DJ's just taking us into this monastery, thank you DJ. <laughs> So yeah, one more thing I was wondering the other day, um, all these people that are in the tea houses that own them and work there, do they stay there all year? So I, so I, asked, I asked someone and um, it seems that no they don't, they stay here for the season, so April, May and uh, October, November when the hiking season's on and then they head back to the villages or wherever it is, cities and villages, wow. Yeah, it's avalanche is coming down. Big avalanche. Big one. Wow. So we're heading into Taknak. Day nine yesterday, I didn't feel too good, and it was a climatization day, so we stayed here. And so um, now we're going to be heading up to up there somewhere. To Kare, spend a day there, then just beyond the ridge, you can see the ice lake I showed yesterday. And we're heading up the day after. Great. This is the oxygen lodge. Not much oxygen here today though. The car is there. And then tomorrow 
up that glacier to high camp if I make it that is. And there is Mira Peak again. And here comes DJ. Hello DJ. I lied, that's not Mira Central, that's Mira North back there. Yesterday it was seriously like it was so, we were sweating in here. In here? So yeah, because it acts as like a greenhouse. To say is actually a little bit. This is my mom. Good morning, it's day 10. Um, it's going to be the start of day one of two to summit to reach the peak. Um, so it's going to get pretty cold. I've got all my boots, ropes, big jacket, and some trousers. This one, there's our view from that one. Heavy pad just out here. Mirror peak is somewhere over there. And um, my water's frozen. All of my water. This is like frozen pipe. Hmm. Good job I um, slept with my hot water bottle last night. So we're setting out now from Kare to Mira Peak, which is just behind that second one, first one. Oh boy. A bit apprehensive. We're gonna go to high camp first. Spend the night, one o'clock in the morning. We're gonna set off for um, the peak. Here we go. Walking these boots are extremely difficult. There's that bricks my feet. Three kilos away. If there's anything. There's a glacier over going up. I can't swim up there. And the peaks up there. So we're at base camp. I don't know if to do this. very difficult. These are amazing. Oh, jeez. The first bit's there. Oof. And then second, third. Oof. <coughs> Sadly, this is where my filming stopped. I wish I'd carried on, but at the time I wasn't feeling too good about having to make a difficult decision to turn back around. It felt like defeat, but 6,000 meters was still a respectable height to reach. My main reason for not carrying on was the lack of energy. I would take a few steps, stop to recover, then carry on. I did this for about an hour, and I could tell DJ I was getting slightly annoyed at the slow pace that we were making. One memory I'll take with me is a moonlit view of Mirror Peak. And as I turn around, the silhouette of Everest and the mountain range all around, what an amazing view that was. 
It was a 3 a.m. freezing cold start to make the summit. Although at the time I probably wouldn't have said this, but trekking to Mirror Peak was an amazing experience. In fact, any trek in Nepal would be just as an amazing experience with all the natural beauty around. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it inspires you to do something similar. Hope you enjoyed this and don't forget to subscribe to see more videos of my travels.